Hey yo together and very welcome to Let's Play XCOM Enemy Within. As promised, right after I finished XCOM Enemy Unknown, I will now play XCOM Enemy Within. And Enemy Unknown was just a tutorial for me to get used to play this game. So this time we will play on Classic. I could go for impossible but I'm not that good. You know, I'm and I don't find joy in suffering. Really not. Uh, uh, I wanna have an extreme challenge and hopefully I can get through. Maybe I will need more more uh, approaches to this to this run, so but that's fine as well. Um, if, I, if I horribly fail, then I will try again. It's it's just for me playing fun and for you watching having fun. Um, I don't know second wave and advanced options. So we will have the melt tutorial because that's a new resource. Um, we can do Operation Pro Progeny. That's okay. Uh, Iron Man. Definitely Iron Man, yeah. And slingshot could yield a decisive event against invaders. Yeah, why not? Reduce beginner VO. No, 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 no. Um, yeah, classic second wave. So what do we have here? I don't know if we should uh, try some of those things. Weapons have a much wider range of damage, so you can no. That's that's just RNG. That's not good. Uh, I think. So you can deal more damage or less damage per shot. It's just more RNG. Uh, no, no, I, I don't like that. Uh, the funding is randomized. Also, just stupid RNG. Rookies will have random starting stats. That's good. So you have some good rookies, so bad, so some bad rookies. That's that's nice. That could do some thing for the early game at least, I think. As the soldiers promoted, the stats will increase randomly. Uh, I know it's also RNG, but I think that could be very interesting. Maybe it's stupid as hell. I don't know. I don't know. Each soldier's training tree will be mostly randomly generated. No, 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 no. That can be fun, but no, no, no. Loading a safe game will reset the random number seed, so take an identical action may yield different results. Definitely, yes. So I can't. Uh, wait, I do have iron mine, so I can't cheat as well. Right? Any wounds taken come will degrade a soldier's stats for that mission. Ooh, that's tough. I don't know if I should go for that one. Mm, I don't feel comfortable with it. Could be too difficult. I mean, if I take damage, then the stats... It's only for that mission, but that means whenever I'm unlucky or not carefully or anything bad happens, it can snowball even harder, so... Mm, I don't know. Absolutely critical. A flanking shot will guarantee a critical hit? No. No, um, it shouldn't be guaranteed, I think. I mean, flanking is nice, but then all I will do is try to flank enemies to get the crit shot, which means I will most likely get the kill instantaneously. Mm, sure, on the other end, that's, that's double-edged sword here again. Mm. The greater good, the secret of psionics can only be learned by interrogation of psionic alien. Mm. No. Morrison, the game takes considerably longer to complete. I don't think I wanna go for that now. The closer they are to flanking an enemy. That makes sense. That makes sense. So because if you don't yeah that makes sense. I would I would go for the aiming angles. I think that's nice. The marathon Yeah why not? Come on. Why why not? Can never receive genetic modifications. Oh, mind hates. Me. That's that's interesting. But no. So I think we're ready to go here. 
Uh, enable tutorial XP. You have never ever played XP Unknown before. It's stronger than none. Would you like to enable that experience? No. But we have the melt tutorial. So that's fine. Those who play with the devil's toys will be brought by degrees to wield his sword. Buckminster Fuller. Oh no. Don't do it. Do it. of the recent extraterrestrial incursion, this Council of Nations has convened to approve the activation of the XCOM project. You have been chosen to lead this initiative to oversee our first and last line of defense. Your efforts will have considerable influence on this planet's future. We urge you to keep that in mind as you proceed. Good luck, Commander. Okay. Okay. So, as this game is... A bit old, you, ca you could say. It's still super awesome. So, continent bonuses. We have Vaith. Vaith, that's good. Uh, Asia. All projects in the foundry and the office that will cost 50% less. That's really good. Uh, that's a l that, I would say that's more of a late game uh, bonus. As well as that one. All in is definitely good. We have Vaith is good. But I think I should go with Asia because projects in the foundry, and I will get the foundry quite early, I think, for research stuff and, and shifts and whatsoever, and the officer training school also. So I can get the uh, yeah more yeah it's it's just I, it's good, it's really good. It takes me 50% less cost to get all the upgrades for my squad. So I will I will start in Asia I think. And yeah, there we have. We'll be heading mission. into Japan for the next mission. Ooh. We've picked up a local broadcast indicating alien activity within a major metropolitan area. Oh we no. We should get down there and eliminate any hostiles. I see a petrol station, and I hate it already. Always move to flank enemies if possible. They are easier to hit and to score critical hits against. Yes. Okay, so. This mission, just a uh, run and gun, kill everything. Ah, yeah, dropship has arrived. Strike one. This is central. Okay. You are free to engage all hostile contacts in the AO. Don't yeah. take any chances. Don't take any chances. So we have we have this new resource melt. So th those are canisters with the new resource called melt, and I need to collect them. And the problem is they will expire in a certain period of time after the mission started, so maybe 5 turns, and 8 turns, or 12 turns, but I don't know, I d only see the timer when I find them. Um, I have to say, I, I did watch this one guy, I forgot his name sadly, oh that's a nice highway, um, 
who played XCOM Enemy Within, I think, or Unknown, on Iron Mode. Uh, insane. It, it was the hardest difficulty. Uh, impossible, I don't know how it's called. And he didn't lose any soldier or any con country. It was wow. Sometimes he was a bit lucky, but sometimes he was really unlucky as well. But he did it. He was doing really good. So the first thing I'm doing is have a uh, look at my soldier. So we have a Will 43, but good offense here on that one. Oh, very bad Will. Very, very bad Will. That's some good Will, but not the best offense. And that's looking also okay. The problem is he is good offense. So Larsen is considered our best man here. And then we have Island Ayla Golan is, is not bad. And yeah, his offense is not really good. So but his will. I think Kelly won't do much here. But okay, let's let's just check. Uh, what we got that. here and open the door and have a look so I see nothing here yet okay okay so let's go there nothing as well I could go on top of the roof but it's a bit dangerous so let's have a look in the window and there you see the melt that's the melt but I didn't confirm it yet with one of the soldiers uh, so I don't see the timer but I should be able to get it the problem is there could be lots of aliens around here there's an open door so that's dangerous um, I will just position myself here I think I got close to the window okay so that's the alien object but no aliens yet that's good so let's see. Okay, if I jump through the window it will alert the aliens, so that's not good. I could go here. Okay, no aliens so far. So let's... Okay! We're witnessing something never before seen in recorded history. Okay. Oh! Oh, that's, that's really sad. I would love... I would love to throw a grenade right here, right now. But that's not working. Okay, so I, I did do bad already I could dash here so next turn I could move up to that location and have a high ground advantage but it's very risky but I, I'm gonna do it I'm gonna do it so that's that's good looking mm. he sees three aliens he has high cover so he should be fine Okay, let's let's try. Um, huh. I could try to set up a, a, a flank right here, but I don't see anything about here. And there, there are definitely more aliens, so I think I will just dash towards that location here. Or maybe... Mm, yes. I hope that works. I don't know. I'm playing on a real hard difficulty here. So they are doing this, this mind boost already. So this one got improved aim and crit chance. He's moving forward. And we'll try to get a lucky shot, but all my guys are on high cover. <laughs> okay, okay. Doesn't matter, it doesn't matter. High cover, whatever. It's rainy death over here. 
High cover is... It, it doesn't matter if you have high cover or not. So, I will go up here now. And... Wow, he doesn't hit anything. So I will kill that alien with a grenade. Instruct your men to exercise restraint when using explosives. While certainly effective at killing aliens, they also destroy the artifacts we're hoping to recover from the bodies. Just something to consider. Their yeah. weapons appear to self-destruct when the operator dies. We should look closely for any fragments that could be salvaged for our own development programs. Yeah. I mean, that's not gonna work, but... I don't know. It's it's sad that I already did lose one soldier here. That's that's not looking good. Wow. How are they even hitting? Okay, so there is some melt back there. I mean that's risky, but I will flank that one. So that's not too bad. And then we collect the melt. Oh! Oh, come on. Oh, come on. Okay, it, huh. So I need to get next to it in order to get it. Okay, okay. Oh my goodness. Okay, they are not shooting in this round. I got the melt. Ah, uh, yeah, he needs to get into cover. That's very important. Let's see if he can hit. Okay, that's nice. He got three kills already. The thing is... Yeah. Um, the best soldier already died, I think. Yeah. Okay, um, okay. let's go there. 20%, 20%, that's not looking good. I don't know if there's any way for me to get close to them. Mm. It's really risky. Really risky. Yes, Commander. Wow. No, with with under fifty percent hit chance, you don't even need to try. But whatever. I'm still gonna try it. I mean, it could work. I, I don't think that Overwatch would have done much in this situation. Yeah, that's that's that problem. And he's moving forward. Interesting spot. And okay, so we do have panic. Hunker down. That's at least. Oh. Two hunker downs. Mm. The problem? Yeah, they are hunker. Mm. I don't see the other alien. This car is exploding. Up to four damage. It's so unlikely to hit. I could move here and try to kill that alien, but then I would be flanked. Mm. And. Possibly I would just die. So maybe just sit it out. Or go on overwatch. I don't know. It's it's difficult. So that car explodes, okay. And he's shooting. He was? You see what XCOM is doing here? He was in hunker down, full cover, and the alien did still crit. That's... that's... that's stupid. 
I don't think I like how the game is treating me. I don't think I like that at all. Not a single bit. And that's also quite bad. On my way. I don't know why the hit percentage is so bad for my soldiers. I really don't know. Maybe one of the... One of the options I have chosen was really bad. I don't know, because I'm not hitting anything. You see, 20%. It's nothing. 20% is nothing. Stepping off. So if he tries to move, I am on overwatch. That should be good. He goes on overwatch now as well, okay. Oh, come on. That's, a load of That's quite a stalement here, or a stalement. Unbelievable. Unbelievable. Strike one. If I may, Commander, the labs are on high alert. Oh my Teams are standing by for your orders. We can uh. begin researching the newly recovered artifacts immediately. So, <laughs> I don't know about this already. Lost two soldiers. Commander to the research labs. Yeah, yeah. Commander to the research labs. You will do all of that. Welcome to XCOM HQ, Commander. I'm Central Officer Bradford. My role in this project is twofold. Providing tactical support for our field operations, and keeping you briefed on the current situation. My efforts should allow you to focus on the bigger issues at hand. Speaking of which, we have a soldier waiting for a promotion in the barracks. I'll let you get to it. I mean in the hospital. Because he will be gravely wounded, most likely. Okay, so that's, that's our base. No one was expecting this. <laughs> some of our best. Oh my I wish there was more we could have done. Yeah. The okay. heavy weapons specialist provides a crucial service to the squad. Yep. With the rocket launcher in tow, there are demolitions experts. Okay. Just like it sounds, the support class provides that intangible edge. Oh yeah, medals. They make everyone around them better. Okay. The recovered artifacts are being unloaded, and the research team is waiting your orders. Mm -hmm. We'll get started as soon as you give the order, Commander. Yeah. No, 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 no. Research labs. Hello, Commander. My name is Dr. Farlan. I oversee the research labs. This is where all of XCOM's research and development takes place. Mm -hmm. We have already begun analyzing the artifacts recovered from our first encounter with the aliens. Based on our preliminary findings, we believe we can use them to develop some new equipment for our soldiers. Yeah, that's good. With your approval, <sighs> we will begin research immediately. Yeah, do it. Research. Uh, melt. That's important, I think. It all takes. Commander, no, 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 no. have to put their own survival first, but every alien we use yes. explosives against is one less opportunity to recover new artifacts. Yeah, right, but. Okay. Ah, Commander. I was wondering when you'd be stopping by. Welcome to engineering. Anything they can dream up in the research labs, we can build it here. Okay. Speaking of which, Dr. Valen has just sent us some new schematics. With your approval, we will begin fabrication. Okay, what do you have here? Med kit. Yes. Give me one med kit. Satellite. I will need to, to get satellites really soon. We've still got some room to grow up here. And satellite really uplinks. want to expand our facilities, yeah. we're going to have to start excavating beneath the base. Unfortunately, the deeper we go, the more it's going to cost. So I think I will go with... Uh, hmm. Hmm. There is steam, that's good, but... I don't know, I need... I need more power for the satellite uplink. 
and I get more power. So the, the bonuses are very important, but I can't just deep down there, go there and build that. That's that's not how it works. You see, it, it costs so much. Also to maintain, I, I think I will excavate. No, I built a power generator now here. Oh, it's so expensive. Power, power. Or I go down here. Satellite uplinks. Laboratories. Uh, engineering stuff. Power, special buildings, and that's special buildings as well. Yeah, I think that's that that's my plan for that base. Okay. Good. With that in mind, I will end this episode right here. It was a very bad start, but we can go through it. So thank you for watching, we see us in the next part. Make sure to sign in if you want to be a soldier, even though I didn't really show that I will take care of it really good. Uh, but yeah, I need soldiers, so I need soldiers, so make sure to sign in. Mask will be in the description below. And then we see us in the next episode, hopefully. As always, thank you for watching, I wish you a very nice day and good